presently say for the past uh, from 2010 i am into teaching uh, spoken and written hindi here hindi spoken and yeah. written hindi this is the way i will tell you like a story i'll tell you how to identify it and how to frame it then it will not be uh, you know it will not be very uh, tough for you and don't take it inside your mind saying that i have to do this i have to do it i have to get it right no leave your mind free hello sheila hi how are you doing i'm doing great awesome okay so i want to know first that um, how did you find me like i received your email so how did you find me i saw your uh, conversation with shanta ah shanta ma'am yeah she is a very beautiful human being i must say very nice woman yeah yeah mm mm-hmm. mm i have spoken okay. to her as well oh okay nice so yeah. tell me more about yourself yeah my name is sheila as you know i i am based in coimbatore tamil nadu and i have done my post graduation in sociology i started off my career as a lecturer mm-hmm. and then after some time i gave up that and i got into market research and for quite some years i was into market research i was working as a research executive analyst and after that now presently say for the past uh, from 2010 i am into teaching uh, spoken and written hindi here hindi spoken and yeah. written hindi yeah oh wow interesting <laughs> okay so sheila like my channel is about english okay like english communication and personality so we talk a lot about english how to learn how to start so like you teach hindi so i want to know like if you want to learn any language so what is the right approach to learn that i'm talking about spoken okay so spoken hindi like what approach do you take to learn that to teach sorry uh, i'll tell you my perception what i feel i feel that you should know the alphabets and you should know the basics you cannot say that i don't know grammar i'm not going to learn grammar but without grammar teach me that will not be 100% possible basic grammar we need to start off only mm-hmm. then we can uh, learn spoken mm-hmm. plus not only you know teaching or you know tell uh, learning grammar you have to start speaking from day one when i teach them grammar i tell them start speaking be it right be it wrong don't mind the pronunciation start speaking because on the way we'll keep correcting you and you'll keep getting you know like better and better Mm. That's how it is. And when when I say basic grammar, I mean by you know nouns, pronouns, tenses, prepositions. These are important. Without them, uh, I don't think it is possible. At least the higher level grammar you can learn later once you start practicing and speaking. I think mm. this holds good for any language. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I feel. Mm. Correct we... me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Please continue. No, I was just saying. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is my opinion. No, you're absolutely right. Even in this English language, also, like what I've seen, that many learners are, you know, scared of grammar. Maybe they find it boring because they think we have to understand rules. There's a lot of subject verb thing. But what I see that basic grammar is must for any language. Grammar and vocabulary both yes. are the foundation for learning any language. so if you know grammar but you don't have right words it's of no use right and same way with vocabulary you have word but you don't know how to make sentences using those words so obviously yeah. for that we need help of grammar hmm okay so like um, sheila like there are learners like i said that they don't like really studying grammar so how can they learn in such a manner that they find it interesting and they can uh, quickly grasp the concept also what should they do the one is we have to tell them that you know like grammar you learn it like how uh, don't by heart it mm. is it at only by hearting something will give you that what if i forget mm. and anything no when you are not learning at that young age it will be a little bit of problem it will take time is mm. it how is it learning in school is different and after school or college when you are learning that is entirely different you yeah. have to put in yeah. effort isn't it we got we have left that students uh, stage and come so it will take some time for us 
Mm. Our own child may grasp it very quickly, but we may not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are occupied with our work also. Mm. So, so I tell them that this is the way. I will tell you like a story. I'll tell you how to identify it and how to frame it. Then it will not be, uh, you know, it will not be very uh, tough for you. And don't take it inside your mind saying that I have to do this. I have to do it. I have to get it right. No, leave your mind free and don't set, you know, like unrealistic goals for yourself. Saying hmm. that I will have to finish in this much day, otherwise I don't know what will happen. No, just leave it; it will come. Hmm. Hmm. This is my opinion. No, no. Plus, one thing for all this, the basic fact is your determination and your passion. Hmm. If that is very high, then it will override all other obstacles that come in your way. Hmm. Hmm. So, what is the advice for those learners who cannot afford fees for class? online or offline classes how can they learn themselves yeah that is that is there those who cannot afford but i think still there are people who are doing some kind of you know like service like i myself sometimes i do but you know how i do is i spot that okay if this person given help then this person will grasp it quickly then i don't mind putting in effort Hmm. But do you think online classes classes are helpful? Online classes, uh, I am not very much for online classes because I'll tell you why. Yeah, I prefer one on one contact. I have batches. I have batches. I have at least ten to twelve per students in one batch. But I am able to see all of them, and I am able to respond, and they are able to look at me and respond. You may say that this can happen in online also, but in online you have so much of other disturbances. Hmm. Like technical issues, basically. Technical are... issues, or no, or I may sit here, but I may not be listening to you. No, I, that, I agree with you because yeah. I've given online classes. What I feel that only technical is the basic problem that can occur while online classes. Otherwise, in online classes, you pay even more attention. You cannot look here and there. You are just direct, directly. You are looking at the screen. You are you are looking at the learner, and then you are teaching. Depends on the age group, hmm. isn't it? If they are young children, then uh, their focus may, you know, waver. And if you are older, then you will not because you are more responsible. You know, I have paid for this, so I am going to you know like hmm. sit in very seriously. Hmm. Again, you see, it all stems from determination and passion. how passionate and how determined i am to learn this if i am very determined i will learn it from any source which i am able to get hmm true Isn't i agree uh, hmm. but but for language learning uh, everyone has to practice their speech also so like i want to know that uh, you have been speaking english in since your childhood or you have learned this language no no i have been speaking it since childhood Mm-hmm. Okay, it's in your culture, basically. Everybody around you. I, I had that environment at home. We don't speak English. We speak our native language and English mixed together. Okay. okay. But uh, I, as in school, I was in a boarding school, convent school. So I had to speak. You know, like we were fined otherwise. Yeah, yeah. So we had to speak uh, English, but naturally. So it came to us naturally. So, what is the first thing to be done if someone is on a on this journey to learn English language? Okay, let's uh, like you are into Hindi teaching, but what if, what do you think to learn any language? What is the first step that one should take? You have to start speaking. There is no alternative for that. No alternative. For speaking, if they are not able to build even a single sentence, then what should they do? Then they you have to listen, 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 observe, and listen. who are good speakers hmm hmm not only speaking it comes from listening i have listened that's hmm. what i i observe and i listen and i just uh, note down note down means mentally those words which i love very much which somebody else uses and i start using it and then what happens it becomes my own i start owning it correct yeah yeah, yeah. So listening, listening is a powerful tool listening is a powerful tool yes, and yes. Your- reading what do you think about reading reading you know it doesn't come to everybody not mm-hmm. everybody likes to read 
like to read. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm a voracious reader. I've been put into reading right from my class fifth. Okay. Uh, so, but then we cannot say that all of us are, isn't it? Uh, I know, I know. It is. It's a uh, forced stuff. reading doesn't, uh, doesn't fetch results. What kind of reading? I said forced reading. When you are forced, forced to read. Uh, uh, seriously, then you will end up giving up. That's what happens. If you don't even like. For English, really even for English, you know. Like, I don't know about you. What I do is I read the newspaper. Sunday newspaper, it has that uh, supplementary column. It has lovely articles. Mm. I read it four times, five times. First is just for sake of reading. Second is, you know, like understanding. Third mm. is taking in. Oh. Mm. So because it has such lovely articles. Why uh, I take it? I can discuss it with somebody else. Isn't it? Maybe you didn't get the time to read or you are not in a position to read. I can discuss it with you, share that knowledge with you. So you will also become knowledgeable in the process. Yeah. Isn't it? So I read yeah. it four, three times so that it goes inside my mind. Mm -hmm. So that is, That's, I think, that is the yes, right is way. The correct way. Yes. And take that the is the benefit. Correct. Okay. First you read just for the reading purpose, for the entertainment, mm -hmm. whatever you are gaining from it. Second, read for the sake of understanding understand it and third time you will start understanding start processing it and read once again because then you will pick up more new lines words yeah. the fourth is share that knowledge with others yes but you see yes. why teaching actually i learned more english while teaching because mm. i make sure that before my every class i i do thorough research on the topics. I made sure I knew every word because I had to teach the same to my students. So yeah. that teaching thing really helps you. So whatever yeah. you learn, teach that to someone else. That will yeah. help both of you actually. Yeah. It reinforces your knowledge also. Isn't it? When you teach it to somebody. Yeah, yeah. That's the best way. And then you will see, you know, you'll pick up new, new words, vocabulary from there. That's how I picked up. If I like something, you know, the way it is written, I just, you know, like pick it up and then, then I try to use it somewhere in mind. And I feel happy. Yeah. I've picked up so many words like that because, see, all these writers, they have they write so beautifully. Yeah. A simple thing, which is presented in such a beautiful way that it is so attractive. No. That's no, why that's they are Because uh, it take you to that kind of world. Correct, you know, correct, even correct. Add thing. You travel with them as though you know you're there, you've been there, done that, seen it, all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are skilled writers, they are authors, but not writers. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. And not that we cannot do. It's not that we cannot do. We only have to, we haven't done it. We haven't paid attention to it and we haven't seriously done it. Once you start doing it, because even I learned so many things at a very later stage of my life. Hmm. Because I changed my profession completely. I came into a very different profession. Yeah. For which I was not suited. In the sense, my, what do you call it? My personality was not suited. So I had to undergo a lot of change. I had to come out of my comfort zone. And, mm. you know, like, because at that time, it was the need of the hour for me. I needed it. Why it did was you profession? Actually, see, I am a, uh, it's a long story. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Tamilian, South Indian, brought up, uh, born in the South, but brought up in the North. Okay. My father was working in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Madhya Pradesh means the remote part of Madhya Pradesh. So there were not good schools there. So at a very early age, they put me into a boarding school. So my schooling was done in Maharashtra. Okay. And then I came back for graduation, post-graduation here to mm -hmm. my... Madhya Pradesh. Then the college where I studied there itself, I got, you know, like uh, picked up as a lecturer. So I was working there till marriage. Post marriage, it was obvious that I had to come to South. When mm. I shifted to South, my, you know, sociology is my subject. That didn't offer me much scope here in the South. Okay. For one year, I didn't know what to do, you know, like because I was so used to working. Mm. My husband's friend suggested market research. He said, since you are good in language, why don't you try your hand in market research? I just mm. started off as a freelancer and then I got into it full time. And oh. that opened a door of opportunity for me. What I am today, I owe it to that. 
That's great. And like, so what you... she taught me everything. Everything. What is that? But market, market research is, you know, when you help companies taking uh, taking their marketing decisions. We have to do research work for them. Okay, that what what is going on in the market? Yeah, What's the new yeah, trend? yeah. They will have a problem, or they will have a specific uh, agenda, which we will have to address. Go to that uh, field, you know, interview people, prepare mm. a full, you know, prepare a report, and then present it to them. Okay, so you think this has so much scope in your area? Basically? Yeah, your my only investment was my language skills. That is why I tell people that today, whatever I am, due to my language skills, because I am. Like Wait, I can read, write, communication. speak. Are you talking about your English language or communication? English, Hindi, Tamil. Tamil. Read, write, and speak. This like opened so many opportunities for me. Hmm. I got so much of exposure because of this. Because hmm. I knew the I was sent to all the places where otherwise I wouldn't have gone, and I explored all over India. Hmm. In my work journey. So it it develops your personality, you know, when you travel and you, you know go see different people, different culture, isn't yeah. it? Oh, right. So even though I have left that job, that has had an impact on my personality. Hmm. I can choose any time, whatever I want to do. That's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. So what are you trying to say? That language uh, doesn't just help you become a good speaker, or you learn. any language for the sake of speaking only but you it also opens door for you to multiple number of things there are multiple opportunities for you to grow in your career options nowadays which many of them are not aware hmm what do you think what like you know like what kind of opportunities these youngsters can go See, for you have these, these, these translations uh, translators isn't it all these jobs Mm-hmm. translating jobs translators jobs hmm there are so many jobs hmm hmm so, and some people think that communication skills mean good you need to have good english please differentiate between english language and good communication skills and english language is a part of communication it's a yeah. subset of communication hmm it is not the all of communication oh, it is one important aspect of communication true which is the basic skill and most important skill that one must have today language skill again language skill is must it is a basic thing hmm 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 it, it is basic yeah it is a basic skill yes yes, yes. especially if we talk about english yeah yeah correct and overall communication skill is also nowadays it is becoming a must that's what i told people that you know like even if you are very good in your academics when you go out for interviews it is 70 to 80% of your academics and the rest is your communication skills you may not be very good in academics if mm. you are good in communication you will be taken in yeah i absolutely agree with that and many a day this is a problem and i see that's a problem because of our phones also because you know people they chat more than you know talking with the person they mostly chat so as a result they don't know exactly how to communicate with other person like what you know what is what you what know we have to find learners or we have to find enthusiasts like us like how we find friends no and mm-hmm. tell them that come chalo let us do this for today we will have a simple exercise we will learn five or 10 new words okay. or we will learn five or 10 sentences good sentences the ones that we do know or we cannot make mm-hmm. so what happens is then there will be that motivation level also we have to motivate each other you each cannot other. look elsewhere for motivation hmm 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 so you think that every day person should learn minimum five words if i write a sentence correct. that correct correct and, and talk to strangers talk to strangers if you are scared to talk to you don't have people to you know like talk to at home or you feel you will be judged they will laugh at you yeah yeah, yeah. so do you know any- Any any platform where people can connect with strangers and they can speak in English? Do you know any such thing? I don't know of any such thing. Okay. There are, I believe, there are. But yeah. But since I yeah, since I am not very much into it, I didn't pay attention to it. Okay. Okay. So uh, now, if you have to one message to all the learners who are on the journey to improve their English speaking skills, their communication. So, what kind of message do you have for all of them? 
What kind of? What kind of message do you have for oh, all? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, be passionate. Learn with enthusiasm. Speak with honesty. That's it. Things will come to you. Do it on a daily basis. Yeah. Things will come to you. Thank you so much, Sheila. The kind of tips you have given in my this conversation. This will really help everyone. At least I, I like your conversation with Chanta. That is why I wanted to speak yeah, to you. Yeah, beautiful person. You know, she was so honest and she tried to help me also when I asked a tip to my channel. Really, such a genuine woman she is. Correct, correct. I connected her to the teams. Twice Sorry? I have connected with her. I have oh. connected with her twice, yeah. So how did you uh, build uh, interest in this platform? How did I get into this platform? Yeah, this is the most often asked question. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I was looking for my friend. She is working as a lecturer. So she wanted to polish her English. She didn't have time because simply she goes to college and comes back late. So I was doing the groundwork for her and I got caught on by this. You know, like I really fell in love with this. I thought then why not? No, nobody is perfect. And what best than, you know, like uh, polishing our skills, isn't it? So then now I am into this. About conversation. Are you polishing your skills or it's about interacting with new people? What is it like? First is interacting with people. Okay. And watching and watching yourself on someone's YouTube channel. No, that is not a big thing for me. No. Okay. Main is getting to know people. Getting to know yes. people. Yeah. Yeah. What are because you're see, intellectual woman. I can see you're so intellectual. You're so now you're so experienced. You know, all this wisdom you have and you have shared with me today. I'm really glad about it. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that you connected with me. Yeah, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. So I hope we see you soon and let's see <laughs> what happens. So thank you so much, Sheila. So yeah. much soon. Bye and all the very best for your channel. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care. Bye.